What's up, everybody? It is Matt, and it's finally Fiendish Friday. I hope each and every one of you are having a great TGIF. Uh, hopefully, you guys have a fantastic weekend lined up, at least some cool movies or whatnot. Uh, uh, I know mine is going to be uh, uh, pretty laid back as usual, uh, especially in these days. Uh, there's not like you can do a whole lot right now yet. It's still kind of boring. But uh, uh, anyways, let's get on to uh, the... F oh, first, I forgot to say, I hope you're having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. And please do like, share, and dis and subscribe uh, Monday through Friday every week a uh, new video so yes and if you guys ever have any more more questions about the about the movies please feel, please feel free to message me i i uh usually respond within a within a, a a decent amount of time i always try to unless it's a a negative comment then i'm just gonna leave you be because uh i you come correct with me you know i'm not uh here to argue or have any of those kind of debates i'm here just to have fun hear what you think about a, a movie but uh no i'm not here to talk negative about it anyways now that i've gotten all that out of the way uh um let's move on to the film of the day today's film i'm kind of doing it on the fly a little bit because uh, I got some stuff I need to run here today, so uh, it's probably not going to be um, as long a review as I, I usually do. But I'll I'll see what we how long I can blabber on for you guys. Uh, but uh, this one here is another SOV. We're ra wrapping up shot on video week with a very fun one. It came out in 2019, uh, and this one was co-directed by both Tim Ritter and uh, Tony Masiello of SOVHorror.com. Yes, SOVHorror.com. So do jump over there, and you can get a copy of this one today, today only, for $10. Now, for the rest of the time, it's not, not that not it's today only that you get the ten dollar deal but it's going to be there for for as long as it, it stays in print so so do keep that in mind so if you miss out on the ten dollar deal today you at least are able to still get the film it's not like it's disappearing or anything like that so do keep that in mind that's over at sovhorror.com one word um tell tell them uh tell tell them that matt sent you Tell them Matt or John sent you. There you go. Because um, we both are, are huge, huge fans of the, the uh, SOBHorror.com stuff. And uh, uh, let's get on to today's. This one, like I said, came out in 2019. It was both co-directed by both uh, Tony Masiello and uh, Tim Ritter. Uh, they both co-wrote it with uh, uh, Matt Hill. And this one's starring none other than Zombarella. Nikki Tamburo, Shannon Stockton, Raven Moon, Travis Hecker, David S. Hart, Steve Guyon, and then I already told you who the directors are, and it's none other, none other than the boob fest known as Zombarella's House of Horrors. Uh, this is a very, uh, uh, like all of these movies I've been doing this week, except for 555, that's the only one that was kind of serious. But uh, the rest of them are kind of silly because I did the Warlock stuff. Um, now, this one is not part of the Warlock title, so do keep that in mind. So it does take itself a little more seriously. It is a longer feature. Um, it was, how long is it running at, uh, does that say 90 minutes, 98 minutes? So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a feature length film. So do keep that in mind. It's under two hours. Yeah, I think it was like an hour and 28 minutes or something like that from, from what my memory serves me. We watched it last night and, uh, uh, I really dug it. Now you get like some crazy, it's an anthology film. So if, if you don't, if you like anthologies, stuff like, uh, uh, creep show, uh, uh, um, gosh, uh, I am drawing blanks. The offspring, uh, uh, body bags, uh, uh, there's twilight zone. There's millions of, uh, not millions, but there's hundreds of other amazing, uh, anthology films. And, you know, Amicus and hammer did them like the best pretty much, you know, with some of the, some of the amazing, uh, anthology horror they did. Um, uh, one of my favorite ones that, uh, they did was, um, uh, 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 the Tales from the Crypt, the original Tales from the Crypt and, uh, um, shoot, what is the Tales from the Vault? Uh, my memory is 
kind of kind of not working the best right now. I don't know why. What's going on with that? Maybe it's because I'm I'm up a little earlier than usual. <laughs> but anyway, now let's move on to uh, what this one. Look at that artwork. That's that's fun. And Z there's Zombarella here. Oh, she shows her cleavage nonstop. You you do not see her boobies. So if you're in it to see Zombarella's boobies, you're not gonna you're not gonna be seeing them. You'll be disappointed you'll see lots of cleavage from her you'll see her shake her boobies you will know you'll see you'll have that going but there is tons tons my friends lots and lots and lots of other boobs in this movie and it's uh almost insane how much boobs are in this one uh it's uh like it's set up almost like a tele. It's it, it not almost. It is set up like a television show, like one of those old Elvira, Vampira, Svengoolies type shows. Um, uh, shows where where they had a uh, um, a horror host, a, and he would uh, he or she would uh, present uh, the would have a little dialogue about the film and present it, um, and then uh, in between every commercial break have a little little something to say. And the, and um, it's set up just like that, and, and Zombarella is your, your, uh, your, your host of, of the, the night's debauchery. Um, and so, so you're, you got that set up. There's uh, um, three different stories, one that involves a guy who is... Um, a real scuzzball. Uh, he uses uh, um, the internet to to basically uh, find um, stupid people, stupid girls that are that are um, desperate or or uh, uh, like having down on their luck type girls, ones that have bad issues. Uh, he's hooking up with these girls, and he's he's using. Um, like a roof and all for him, you know. He's 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 a piece of shit. Like he can't do it on his. He can't uh, talk his way into it with with or with his looks because the guy's funny looking as hell, in my opinion. He call his name. They call him Lucky Chucky because he gets lucky with every girl he gets with, which is funny because he definitely meets his match with with the girl that uh he meets on this blind date through through this internet dating room which um by the way you're he's basically like telling you what he's going to do to 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 one of his friends and it's just like what a fucking loser man um uh he he gets what he deserves I almost forgot. We do have an audio. I forgot to show you guys the special features here before I move on. There's an audio commentary. Uh, there's a uh, what, what do we got in there? We got some dele hot deleted scenes, the Zombarella trailer, and trailers for other SOV horror. And there's a Mondo Bizarro episode on here as boys, boys, as boys grow. Uh, I haven't watched that yet. Uh, I do have the Mondo Bizarro films coming in, so if it's on on there, I'll watch it there. If not, I'll, I'll check it out on here. Uh, that should be in later today, actually. Yes, I'm super stoked about that. If it would have got here, yes, uh, uh, if I would have ordered a week earlier, we would have had a whole week of, of Warlock titles. <laughs> uh, but next week, I will do be doing a few more SOV just to just to let you guys know uh, ahead of time. Um, I'm having a blast doing these, and I'm wanting to do more and more of them. Um, and being hooked up with Tony over there, it, it, it really, I really am getting the, uh, the cream of the crop. These are going to be, these, he's shooting to be the criterion of SOV horror. That's SOV films. And that's awesome. You know, he really, really puts a lot into these releases. Like the artwork is so beautiful. Um, the stories are always fun. Uh, he always stacks it with, with special features. Like I said, there's a commentary. There's an episode from Mondo Bizarro on here. There's trailers. There's uh, uh, some some uh, uh, deleted scenes, some things of that nature. So you get a little bit of everything with as far as how, how much he puts into each feature. Um, 
Now that I I got that out of the way, I forgot to say it earlier. But so let's get back to the to the film itself. Um, the second story is basically about a a wife who is uh, trying to um, get contact with alien other being a, aliens essentially, but aliens, aliens flat out they're aliens. And she's been sacrificing people left and right. Uh, her, it, you don't really get to see much of that. It, you see more of the uh, uh, family dynamic that they that both her and her husband have, and how much how uh, toxic their relationship is, and and uh, uh, how much they've they do not love each other at this point. They've been been together for so long, and they've grown stale to each other. Uh, that's that's kind of sad to hear because you know life gets a little little shaky sometimes but um she there's a whole thing with that uh it's funny because you see like the alien dongs the alien wieners are hilarious they're like it makes me think of necrophiles uh the zombie had a big old wang in that uh <laughs> um it just it was it was it's very very funny and done hokey and it's and then the third story is about a uh, um a ventriloquist or not a ventriloquist a uh, uh i forget now um it was about a doll and i forget damn you matthew you shouldn't have smoked before you before you started doing the video but anyways um, it's done through three short anthologies. In between, you have these commercial breaks and and uh, uh, little commentaries by Zombarella itself. The commercial breaks are hilarious. They're they're uh, a lot of them are they're basically like one eight hundred sex numbers or dial a date stuff like that. And it's they're absolutely hilarious. Um, something that you you will re definitely remember. Uh, and then the the, the basically the movie within the movie is called Tales from the I forget. Oh, Matthew Brown, I am so upset at you. Uh Tales from the Mausoleum. I don't know why I forgot about that all of a sudden. I should have known I know that all and and they say Fred Olin Wood, not Fred Olin Ray. I don't know why I said Fred Olin Ray because it's not the same guy. Uh it's a combination of Fred Olin Ray and Ed Wood, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, it's the the uh, shot on video snooze fest as as she constantly uh, refers to it as, which um, yeah, I can see why she would find it boring, uh, a, a snooze fest. But she does show that ambition and joy for it, which is is great. I love Zombarella in this; she's awesome. Um, she's one of those people I think would be fun to meet because she she seems very. Um, uh, like perky, not like uh, she. She seems like she has a nice, bubbly, nice attitude, which is very cool. Um, she seems fun. Um, now let me get over onto my ratings for this thing. As far as a uh, 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 technical side goes, this is done really, really well. Um, it's it's it takes a lot to be able to um, film that kind of do that much stuff in one film. Like it's literally. Um, one that if you have a short attention span, you're not going to get bored because it's constantly, the story is constantly changing. You know, you got constant new things going on. You, you got the, uh, the infomercials in between. You got all the segments with Zombarella. You got, uh, the three anthology shorts. Um, and then you got, uh, fake trailers on there as well. There was, uh, three, three fake trailers on there for, for these, uh, uh, cannibal women from outer space. It was something like that, that, uh, during the trailers, they, they bite off the dude's wieners. It's, it's quite funny. Um, uh, it very, it got a little, I thought for a second I was seeing a full on blow job, but it wasn't, it, it was definitely a fake dong that they bit off, which was kind of funny. Um, so do keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to give this thing on the 1 through 5 for a technical thing. This is probably like a 3, 4, right around in there. It's it's um, a little above average when it comes to that side of the, the uh, tracks because 
there is amazing editing going on here. The scenes are cut together pretty flawlessly. I don't see any huge problems with as far as as uh, that goes. Um, the acting's done done good for, for done right for what it's supposed to be. Uh, the the uh, camera the stuff with the cameras is fun. There's some nice camera shots. Uh, not not any of that crappy shaky cam, which some of them you know you you run into, and there's so much shaky cam it makes you dizzy. There's that doesn't happen, which is beautiful. Um, what else is there? Uh, fun acting, great story. The story, like I said, is fun. Um, so yeah. Let's give it a four out of five on the on the uh, technical side, and then as far as an entertainment side goes, this thing is definitely a four out of five as well. Uh, not the mo not the best uh, um, SOV I've watched this week. I think Death of Lantern is the best I've watched this week, and then out of everything that I have watched from Tony uh, over at SOVHorror.com was probably. Uh, Spirit Gallery, if you haven't checked that one out last week. I think that was last week when I did that. Uh, that was a really good film. Uh, it was done so well that you couldn't even tell it was shot on video. Yeah. Some of these shot on videos are amazingly made. Uh, this one, you can't... I mean, there's times when you can tell it's shot on video, but then there's times when it's like, no, that's got to be shot digitally. Yeah. Anyways. Love this movie. Love your faces. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I got some stuff to do today. Uh, I hope all of y'all have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you all on Monday. And then we're going to go back to uh, uh, other movies. Uh, we're done with SOV week. So so look out for, for some new different batch of stuff next week. Uh, uh, definitely look forward to maybe two Unearthed Films releases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They may. I, I might have two of those to do for you. Um, at least for sure, there's going to be one. So keep your eye out for for one of their theirs. Uh, um, so yeah, love your faces. Peace.